Hello, thanks for joining me on our DocuSign tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to make a modification to a contract that you already produced. Let me give you an example. Uh, first thing we're going to do is start a new envelope. So what I mean by this is, let's say you make an initial offer to a, you know, for a property and then you negotiate and you have to make a change okay um, because you come to terms so today I prepared a sample so it's on my computer under downloads test case we'll call it so this this was something I already you know submitted for as an offer and let I'm just making this stuff up so um, but let's say that this was the initial offer I'm going to show it to you in a second here we're not going to do that we're going to cancel um, we don't even need to do this, so we're going to cancel that and hit done. Okay, so this was a uh, an offer, a $60,000 offer that we made, and let's say that we negotiated, and they said, no, we don't want $60,000, we want $70,000, and we said, no, we're going to be sixty-five. dollars You know how it works. I don't need to explain that part. So, the first thing we're going to do is to... Um, make some corrections here so let's first of all let me add me as a um, the client so I could have some boxes here so I could um, make some modifications so, okay so let's say we agree on 65,000 not 60 and we also agreed to give them three thousand dollars earnest money not a thousand how do you do that can't check on any boxes here you know we don't want to print it out rescan it that's that's archaic. Um, so here's the way I do it. Okay, this isn't the only way to do it, but this is what I find that work pretty well. First thing I do is I take a little box, a data field box, and I put X, 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 X over the old price. Okay, that's all I want to do. You'll still see what was under there, just like when you put a line through something. We're going to do exactly the same thing on over this because we're going to go to $3,000. So X, 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 X. You want to cover it. You don't want to get crazy. Okay, so that takes care of that. But now we got to add um, the correct numbers. So we're going to take our data field once again. This time we're going to put it in a, somewhere where it's easily legible, like in above, above it, for example. So... What I'm going to do here is say 65. Th Whoa, made a mistake. Um, hopefully, you guys find these videos entertaining. I try to be entertaining because this stuff is could be boring. Um, okay, so there's the correct price, and we said that we were going to give three thousand dollars earnest money. So I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, so three thousand dollars. Okay. So now you're saying, well, okay, you know, obviously we got to put initials by them because we just changed the contract. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do this. And that's it. I mean, you could change anything on this contract the same way. So let's say we wanted to, um, uh, I don't know, shucks, what can we do here? Um, yeah, we don't allow this anymore. Obviously, you probably remember that from our annual office meeting. We have to have a hard date in there. So this is another good example. So I'm going to take a data field. And I'm going to put down here XXXXX. But this time I'm going to do a lot of X's and see what happens here. I want to cover it all. Okay, and then I hit this little down arrow. Boom, covered it up. Um... Then I'm going to take a new box and I'm going to say we're going to close on this April 30th, 2013. Okay, and you can't see it all here, so we hit this little button, bada bang. Okay, again, we made a change. We got to do this. We're going to put the initial there and that's it. Let's assume that that's the only, those are the only changes we made. We hit send. Okay, since it's my account and I put me in there, it says, do I want to sign it? So I'm going to say, yeah, this is what, now you're seeing what the client sees when they get it. Okay, well, allow my position 
here at uh, Remax Headquarters Central. Um, so I'm going to hit next. And as you can see, everything is perfectly the way we want it to be. So I do my changes. Done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. So it's right here. We're going to go here and I'll show you what it uh, looks like as a final product here. So this is what it looks like. Crossed out. Very neat. You can see, see sort of what was underneath there. You know, we're not trying to hide anything. And that's my tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching.